Jason Eichelberger here, Prep Cal Track. I am with your CIF Southern Section Division Four champion, Peyton Godsey, Oaks Christian. This is becoming a nice routine for you. <laughs> Congratulations, successfully defending your individual title here today. 1654, I believe that is a new PR for you here on this course. Congratulations. Thank uh, you. Where did you feel like today was gonna have to, to, to be a, a day in which you executed? Where on this course and what was your mindset coming yeah. in? Yeah. Um, 100% just the top of the switchbacks. I think that first mile, everyone's there, so there's not much going on there that's going to make or break your race. So I think just getting to the top of the switchbacks and from there is when you really have to get mentally strong because you make it up that first hill and you realize you still have two miles to go and two more hills. So I think that's kind of the point where the race really starts. So I guess top of the switchbacks going down those hills. Now, once you were able to kind of get that lead there, obviously you're know, being pushed by some very, very quality runners. What were you telling yourself after you got the advantage and it was like, oh, okay, I think I'm doing well here. How were you able to kind of maintain what you had built to bring that home to victory today? Yeah, I think it was mostly just mental. I think the whole time I'm just telling myself, like, I don't want to have any regrets. I don't want to, I can't ease off this pace because the second I uh, loosen up, there's five girls right behind me that are very talented that could come and get me. So I think I just remembered that, like, just because I was in the lead at that moment, it could change any second. So I was just really pushing and not letting up on the pace. Coming across the finish line there, uh, obviously a select list of individuals that have repeated as Southern Section champions. And this is obviously a very highlighted race. Uh, what is that feeling like coming across the finish line? Yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, I like I said, I don't know. I don't really put pressure on myself too much. I was really trying not to. Like, it's a new season. I, I was like, just because I won last year does not mean it's guaranteed this year. So I was just really trying to remind myself that um, going into the race, like it's still going to be hard. It's still going to be a very competitive race. So I think coming across the line just uh, really validated some of the hard work I've put in this entire season. It was really uh, uh, rewarding to finish again. Obviously two goals here today, uh, not only individually, but as a team. And it looks as though obviously your team will have a successful showing here and head up to Fresno as well. Talk a little bit about that challenge and kind of spearheading both of those individually and as a team as well. Yeah, I think it helps so much to have a good team. This past year we've really developed and our team has just really uh, picked up a staff, took it to another level. And that is just something so special. And not a lot of people have good teams like that, that they get to train with every day. And I think just having this team aspect has made all the difference this year for me. Like, just being able to do something for bigger than myself has made it so much easier to go out on the course. And when you're in pain, like, you just think about your teammates. And I think that's something special, and I am very, very grateful to have a team like that. Now, final question here. Obviously, a great, great accomplishment for you here today, and you get to celebrate this. But then, obviously, there's another challenge awaiting you uh, next Saturday at Woodward Park. Just talk a little bit about getting yourself ready for that and, and how you'll go about attacking that particular challenge individually and as a team. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, team-wise, obviously, we're looking to do as best we can, and I think that's definitely a priority for us. So I think in order for a team to do well, you, everyone has to have an individual good race, too. So I think for me, like the best thing I can do at this point is just uh, save me, run as hard as I can and place as high as I can, because ultimately that will help my team the most. So I think it's just a nice balance. I think preparing beforehand, warm-ups and everything, just like having the team and thinking solely about the team just calms me down. It's definitely something that uh, helps me like just motivate myself and everything. So I think it's it's really great. I'm looking forward to seeing what my team can do. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you at Woodward Park in Fresno next weekend. Uh, again, congratulations. Peyton Godsey, Oaks Christian, uh, CIF Southern Section Division Four champion for the second year in a row, 1654.2. Congratulations, Peyton. Thank you.